वेलकम बैक तो विल बी कॉन्फिगरिंग ट्रांजेक्शन रेप्लीकेशन नाउ यू हैव दिस टू सर्वर्स ओ एल टी पी जीरो वन एंड आर पी टी जीरो वन ओके सो ओ एल टी पी जीरो वन इज द पब्लिशर दैट विल बी कॉन्फिगरिंग एंड आर पी टी जीरो वन इज द सब्सक्राइबर सो नॉर्मली द पब्लिशर इज द वन वेर ऑल द एप्लीकेशन आर कनेक्टिंग टू इट एंड दे आर डूइंग द लाइव ट्रांजेक्शन सो ऑल द ट्रांजेक्शन आर हैपनिंग ऑन दिस सर्वर ओ एल टी पी जीरो वन वेर वी हैव दिस डेटाबेज सो राइट नाउ आई हैव जस्ट रिस्टोर दिस एडवेंचर वर्क from internet and uh, we have this database and we'll be configuring a transaction replication for one of the table to move from from OLTP01 to RPD01 okay right now we see that uh, the replication i don't see anything here okay just configure distribution and you don't see any properties so it's not configured nothing is done it's a plain vanilla server right now so the first step to create any replication is to create a distribution server okay the distribution server is the is the server which is responsible to scan the database or the scan the log file of the publisher and and sync it to the subscriber right the distribution database distribution server is the main server which is doing all the hard work so the first step is to create a distribution server so let's start with this the first option is configure distribution so currently i'll be configuring the distribution on the same server as publisher right and in most of the smaller organizations we have it the publisher and distribution on the on the same server however for a bigger enterprises where you have a lot of data that is has to be synced or that is in replication we normally configure the distribution as a remote distributor okay so let us go ahead and configure the distribution for this server so i go with this configure distribution and it says that okay uh, this is a wizard which is starting now the distributor is the server responsible for storing replication information used during synchronization so i am saying that okay the oltp01 is my own distributor okay i can go ahead and i can also do this use the following server distributor and i can i can give the server name here any other server this will which will be the remote distributor for but for now let us go ahead with the own distributor the snapshot folder so it says that where do we have to keep the snapshot data okay the snapshot folder is the one where we are storing all the snapshot files okay whenever we are creating a snapshot of the uh, tables wherein the entire data is stored of of a table is stored in a flat file where this data should be stored okay so ideally we should uh, we should provide the network share for this and it can be anywhere okay it can be a network share, share on a nas on a stan uh, on a nas or it can be on the publisher server itself so right now i have just created a folder rpl here which i have also shared it okay so the sharing is my pc slash rpl okay so this is what i have shared so let us take this and put this here okay and now it's the distribution database now ideally we keep it as same distribution but we can also change it if you are using a remote distributor and you want uh, you have different publishers right publisher 1 publisher 2 publisher 3 different servers we have so you can have it uh, a dis different distribution database uh, uh, name this different distribution database for different publishers okay but for now i just have one and i'll just keep it as default distribution and this is the location for database file the data file mdf and ldf file so i'll just keep it as default you can change it also here publishers enable servers to use this distributor when they become publishers so it says that for this distributor who can be the publisher okay so my publisher is oltp01 okay i can go and i can add more publishers here 
it can be a sql server publisher it can be an oracle publisher but i'll just keep it as oldb01 which is my publisher and the end of the wizard it says configure distribution and also to generate a script file so we'll just generate a script file to understand what exactly it is doing and we'll configure distribution here okay. it says where do we store the script file let me store in this scripts folder configure distribution save so the wizard says uh, that it i'll be configuring distribution and i'll also be creating a script file with this uh, sql extension and my oltb01 is a distributor this is my snapshot folder location and my distribution and log file will be stored here data and log files and also i'll have this particular server as a publisher okay so just go ahead and finish it will take some time around 30 seconds or so okay it's completed so let us go ahead and check out the replication now and when you right click on this it says distributor properties and publisher properties right so as you know that the this server is a publisher as well as distributor that's why you can see both of these properties here okay you can go and you can change the properties if you want uh, and let us go ahead and check out the script so let me paste it here okay so this is what what does it say it will it's adding a distributor with this particular server and password is blank okay so plus password is just kept as blank here for security reasons however when the distributor is created it is created with its own password which we need not worry about what is the password for that only when you're configuring a remote distributor then we need to know the password you can go and you can change the password also there right and uh, because the publisher has to connect to this distributor so we need to change the password but for now since both the publisher and distributor are on the same server there is no need for for knowing the password and then you have the distribution db as distribution and data files log files it's creating a database for this and then you're also saying what is the snapshot folder location and also you're saying that okay this is the publisher for this particular distribution database right so this is already uh, created and we have this distribution if you go to system databases you will see the distribution database right and inside that you will see all the system tables okay so right now so you have all this ms distribution agents ms distribution history this all ms whatever you can see ms curator regions ms repl commands so there are two tables which are very important the ms repl commands and ms repl transactions here right so this two contains the information the commands actually contain the commands okay the insert update delete that has happened this this table will contain the commands uh, and then this will contain the transaction ID, right? We'll see in the later uh, sessions how do we check this uh, when we do a, a real transaction on a publisher. We will see how those transactions are coming to this distribution database. How we can see this, how we can read this particular tables, and how it moves from here to the subscriber. Okay. So the next session will be configuring a, a publication here. For one of the one of the tables in adventure works and then we'll be configuring subscription and then we'll be doing an actual transaction and understand how this data moves from oltb01 to rpt01 that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in next session